Let me give you the final results. The threshold for victory was 218 votes, 435 members uh, were total in voting, including proxies. The results are 235 for Mr. Perez and 200 for Mr. Allison. It is my great honor. It is, it is now my honor. It is my honor now to present the gavel, the next chair of the Democratic National Committee to Mr. Tom Perez. Mr. Perez, congratulations. Yeah, this was a, a, a pretty dramatic day here in Atlanta, and uh, on the second ballot, Tom Perez comes in with a victory. Uh, Perez uh, collected uh, 235 votes on that second ballot uh, to Keith Ellison's 200, but it was on that first ballot, Brianna, where uh, Tom Perez only collected 213 and a half votes, falling short of the 214 and a half vote threshold needed uh, to win the election. But on the second ballot, Perez uh, was able to bring together uh, the coalition necessary to win. You know, what's interesting, though, is how this is playing out in the room. And this is something we were uh, going to keep an eye on. Uh, there were many Keith Ellison supporters that represent that progressive wing of the party, the Bernie Sanders wing, if you will. Uh, and after it was announced that Perez had won, they started yelling uh, in the back of the room, uh, no big money, party for the people. And they continued to do it uh, even while Donna Brazil uh, was trying to calm the crowd down and call for unity. So that's going to be the next big question for this Democratic Party. Can they unite behind Tom Perez and form some sort of coalition that can be a true alternative to Donald Trump 